Guys, I know that knives are not jewelry. They're tools. But every once in a while you get one that just is amazing looking. We're going to look at what I think is the best looking Kaiser knife so far. The Clairvoyant by Mumco Designs. <laughs> All right, guys, I get a lot of knives in and function is the most important factor in reviewing a knife. But every once in a while you get one like this that is just that perfect mix. This has got so much going on in it of what I love. This is the Clairvoyant by Kaiser. It is a Mumco design. Uh, it's done in 154. I'm uh, sorry, it's done in uh, 154 CM. There you go. I was just trying to show you. Copper, I believe this is copper or brass and micarta. So I haven't looked anything up on the knife because this is first blind review. I will put a purchase link down below, so I will look it up after. The balance on this is one of the first things that really appealed to me. It's got that nice heavy area here for that neutral balance. So you are looking at a modified sheep's foot. It's very swept, very rounded, but not too heavily rounded. It's just all belly all the time which a lot of times is not something I like, but in this knife, it really works. You've got a lot of different handholds. Beautifully done button lock on this, where the button lock is just almost flush the entire time. Just almost flush the entire time. I really like that. It doesn't get in the way. It doesn't feel intrusive. Detent on it, really good. Reverse flick and thumb flick. Now there is no flipper tab on this. So there's that. This has got a fairly decent behind the edge profile. I did a little bit of cutting on this, but it is just about midnight here. Since so me working nights and I'm filming on my days off, I can't really go out and make a bunch of noise and do some cutting. I will do some cutting tomorrow before I go to bed after the sun's up. This thing is just amazing in hand. So it's got this thin profile, but it comes down nice and narrow here. And then it widens back up with this very dramatic, almost coffin end-esque handle termination here at the heel. But what that gives you is it you sink right into this. There's a big finger choil here. There is a choil up here that you can get into as well if you need to. But right there, that is just amazingly comfortable in hand. Uh, it does have a nice pocket clip that is not your typical Kaiser garbage, just throw it on pocket clip that sits nice in pocket. You can see it's got a good bit of tension. That tension on that, it's actually bowed, but it's not too much tension in and out of the pants that I'm currently wearing. Um, we'll see how that pans out in other pants, but I'm not gonna go upstairs and wake my wife up just to get another pants, pair of pants. One of the really cool features on this is this copper bolster that has got this unique look, but it's also not just attractive, but like I said, it balances the knife very, very well. It gives it that neutral balance. It feels really good in hand, really nimble and feels very, very good when you're using it. But one of the other things is, do you see that? That is a micarta pivot collar, the same material that's here. It looks amazing. So, so far today, I'm really impressed. There's jimping here. It's not super aggressive jimping, but with the curvature of this spine, it doesn't have to be as aggressive as, say, a flat spine knife. If this was straight, you would want that jimping to be a good bit more aggressive. But because you're in that natural point, it's just the perfect mix. And then the finish on this, it's done in a nice, decent stone watch, which is going to hide scratches. But so far, this thing cuts like a laser. And there you go. Another great thing. Backspacer on this, done in the same material as the scales. And then for those of you that like lanyards, they didn't ugly up this knife with a big old lanyard hole. Um, I really, to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss that I hadn't seen this knife before. I definitely dig this. I wish I had gotten to see one of these sooner. This is one, this is one of those knives that's on that list of knives that Maybe something I purchase. I dig this a lot. So um, there's a couple little negative things on it, but they're they're definitely very minor compared to how good everything else is. So let's flip this around. Flip side of the story. Flip side of the knife. Right after you guys hear from this video sponsor.
Because you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring the channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. So first things first, and I know that people are going to agree with me on this. This is a prime opportunity for this to be a ambidextrous knife because it is a button lock and button locks are ambidextrous. They did everything except give you a spot for the uh, pocket clip to be reversed. That's just, that seems to be kind of an overlook uh, uh, in my opinion. Next thing, I wish that this had a small flipper tab. You could have gotten away with a small flipper tab that would have just basically disappeared and nested in there. And that would have that would have given you more than just the reverse flick option, but because it is a button lock, you can just flip it out like that. It it is it is really good that way. Um, little minor thing, there's a a little bit of a misgrind at the very tip on this. Can you see how like it doesn't transition all the way down? I don't know if that's part of you know if they just didn't grind it all the way up, but it it gives it kind of a blunted tip. You can see like how that comes in they would just taken that out. Now, first sharpening is going to take care of that, but it kind of gives it that blunted tip that you see there. So if you're trying to pierce with it, it's just not going to work as well. And then the final thing, I think that if they had done a little bit more weight reduction, I know there's a lot in here, but a little bit more, it would have made that, that tip heavy balance, but I don't know because that's a lot of weight right there. So all in all, Really no problems with the pockets, not a hot spot. It feels incredibly good in hand. So yeah, I, I, I liked the other Mumco, the Comet that I have that was a gift from Jared. Great, great knife. I love this micarta. Kaiser is doing some great, great knives. So with that being said, is it a yup or not? Oh, it's, it's a yup all day. I love this. It, it just goes to show that you, it can be a useful tool and still just be attractive. So let's turn this around do some final thoughts, send you out about your day. Guys, I absolutely love this knife. This thing is incredible. It is one of the most comfortable knives in hand I've held in a long time. And I really, really dig it. Uh, I may have to, I may have to, now that I have a job, I may have to uh, go ahead and get one of these. This thing is just beautiful, brilliant. Uh, the cutting I've done so far tonight on it or with it has been great, like I said, and uh, I'm pretty impressed. So guys, that's it on this one. Uh, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. Visit my sponsors down below, Coffee Bar and Coffee Temper Trail. There's discounts built into their codes. Their products are amazing. They're good companies to work with, and you're saving 10% off by using my code. I also have a 10% discount code of Crazy Sharp at uh, Rosecraft Blades, Farm Forge Knife Works, and uh, Katsu Knives, but it's also going to save you 40% at Beyond EDC knives. And, that, and that's crazy sharp, all one word, all lowercase. There's an Amazon store down below. Take that pin at your browser, use it for all your Amazon shopping. And I have affiliate links to all of the major knife vendors. So if you're going to pick up a knife, please use my affiliates down below. Sports channel, it doesn't cost you anything at checkout. I also have a membership if you want to join. I do exclusive content, uh, premium tier sharpening tutorial series. I do giveaways for those guys. And there's a private Discord. Plus, there is a public Discord down below in the description. It says join the community. Join me there. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.